what else is out? Okay, so Broker, which is the new film by Japanese director Hirokazu Koreeda, although this is a South Korean set drama. It played in competition at Cannes last year. Song Kang Ho, who of course is from Parasite, won Best Actor. It also won the Ecumenical Jury Award, which bear that in mind when I talk about it. So Lee Jun is Moon So Young, who is a young woman who we meet leaving her baby by a baby box. These are places that churches use, you know, to leave unwanted children that will then be uh, taken. This something which has existed for for years. Uh, Song Kang Ho is Ha Song Hyun, who runs a scam with Gang Dong Wong's Dong So. He works in the church, and what he does is he deletes video footage of some babies being left in the boxes so that the pair can then sell them for adoption on the black market, okay? So this is basically, a, it's the story is about stealing children and selling them on the black market, which sounds incredibly dark. It does. So Young then comes back for the baby that she left and discovers the scam. But rather than going to the police, which she can't, for reasons which are revealed by the drama, she agrees to join them in their search for looking for parents for her child on the black market. Meanwhile, there are two detectives on the trail who have been from the outset. So on the one hand, this sounds like a very dark thriller. On the other hand, it has a kind of slightly comedic uh, element to it. Um, the most important thing is that Hirokazu Koreeda, uh, who won the Palme d'Or in 2018 for Shoplifters, which again was a film that appeared on one level to be about child abduction, I suppose. What he, uh, The theme that he returns to constantly is families forming on the borders of society, families forming outside of ordinary family units. Um, he's been compared to Ozu and De Sica and the Dardens. He's a very humanist director. In I Wish, um, which is 2011, it's brothers torn apart by parental separation who dream of being reunited through a miracle involving the bullet train. In Like Father, Like Son, it's a kind of modern twist on the baby swapped at birth story. In Our Little Sister, there are three 20-something siblings and their 14-year-old half-sister meet when their estranged father dies. And then, of course, there is Shoplifters, which again is about this sort of family unit thing. I mentioned before that Kurt Vonnegut has this thing about this invented religion, Bokononism, which is a theology based on harmless lies that says that your real family is a caras and your real family is rarely intersects with your biological family, but people find their families in the world. And this seems to me to be something which runs throughout Coriada's movies. Um, in the case of this, it's actually really beautiful and touching and, yes, sentimental. I think some people would say that it was contrived in its sentimentality. But it just, it was so deftly done, it got right under my skin. It has a, a fantastic score by Jung Jae-il, who did the score for Parasite, which was really inventive and weird and involved musical sores and all that sort of strange stuff. And yet I played you a little bit of it before. We ran the show, I remember said, you know, and it was like this lovely piano theme. I think it's a really, really touching film um, that very gentle, very understated, very kind of uh, unexpected in the way in which its story plays out. Because at first the setup seems so contrived, but also so potentially dark. Um, you know, you think, what is this, like some kind of really twisted caper? And then it just becomes a film about the way in which people find family units in the most unusual circumstances. And the, the most moving scenes are scenes with people just <clears throat> having conversations, pe scenes with people in cars together, talking in cars. <clears throat> There's one moment in it in which you remember Amy Mann's Wise Up from Magnolia. Mm -hmm. There is a scene with a woman sitting in a car and the camera is looking at her through the windscreen and she hears uh, Wise Up playing and she takes her phone out and she holds it out and she says, listen, can you hear this song? It's like that scene in that movie that we saw. But of course, that it, it, and it, it's one of the most strangely meta moments that really shouldn't work in which you literally evoke somebody else's film. And Magnolia, I think, is a very powerful film. I agree. But you do it in a way that doesn't undercut the film that you're in. I thought it was really beautiful. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I thought it was really moving. It's called Broker, and it really, really got me in the feels. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed 
watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I go. have done. Excellent.